Welcome back to your live continuing official Toy Fair 2015 coverage on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Artis. Thanks so much for joining us. I am so excited about this next guest because we have such a great topic to talk about. Don't forget, you can connect with us at Be Terrific TV on both Instagram and Twitter. You can also go to our IRC chat underneath our video player on beterrific.com slash live and communicate directly with us in real time, ask your questions. Of course, you can be in the GeekBeat IRC chat as well. We're monitoring that as well because we're also syndicating to planet5d.com and geekbeat.tv. We love all you guys watching, wherever you're watching, however you're watching, whyever you're watching. If you're watching on our app, kudos. Thank you for downloading. Don't forget. Tap people on the shoulder, tell them this is going on. Let's get this audience going. We're, we're also being syndicated on live stream <laughs> and they're featuring us. So thank you to live stream very much for featuring us. Those guys are pretty awesome. Ken Sider is here from the Toy Industry Association. That is the organization that puts on Toy Fair. Correct. Uh, it's an amazing organization. You have a lot of great people, a great team that has helped us be here, set up with us. We're happy and proud to be a partner with you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys help facilitate great people. Liz, Robin, of course, Marion and Kim are unbelievable. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. Thanks for doing this with us. Well, thank you for your compliments. That's wonderful. You have created the genius of play. It's, it's really a great concept. I know what I've been told about it, but tell me your vision for Genius of Play. Sure, and also I just want to clarify yeah. something. I am the facilitator of the Genius of Play. The industry really created the Genius of Play. There has been a program in, you know, that people have been talking about for a while called the value of play. My creative expression of that is, is entitled the genius of play. But I'll give you a little background on what it's all about. Um, first of all, um, I, I'm sure, I don't know if you're aware or not that um, play is shrinking. And it you is? Know, yeah. How kids, is play shrinking? Kids are more programmed. You know, um, kids are um, there's there's kids are pressured more to. What, when you say programmed, you mean that they're they're scheduled more. They they literally have activity after activity Precisely. after activity. Precisely. Okay. Also, there you know with all you see all the pressure of all these standardized tests and all and how schools and children are evaluated based on them, the homework and y you know just the volumes of, of of things that kids are given in schools, that's shrunk. Oh, it's it's mind numbing. I have two nephews. Uh, one's in high school. One's at uh, Caltech. Uh, Daniel is uh, in high school, and he's a great kid, but all he does is work, and we, we text back and forth. It's unbelievable. Bingo. And, and, and Harrison went through this, yeah. and, and it's so challenging to get into colleges now. He's at Caltech, yeah. which is a great school. Yeah. When do the kids have fun today? Good question. Yeah. Good question, and that's part of what the whole exercise is of the genius of play, actually. Um, just so you know, recess in schools has shrunk over the past six or seven years. And what we're finding is through studies that teachers are experiencing behavior problems, more behavior problems in class where research, recess has been either eliminated or shrunk. Also, kids aren't performing as, as well academically as they should have because of it. Play has a vital role in the development of a child. Well, recess was my favorite uh, subject, followed by gym. <laughs> um, I will tell you, you're so right though, and I'm such a believer in this. The reasons why is recess builds team building, it builds uh, communication skills, it builds interpersonal skills, it, it builds so much, and creative thinking as well. And it, of course, teamwork, uh, and the same with gym, which is also part of play. Um, so I think that these are subjects that are really subjects, they're to be taken seriously, they can't be overlooked, and when you say that they're being cut down on, that really uh, makes me sad, and it worries me, and I can understand certainly why teachers are dealing with more issues with students, and outbursts, especially because kids need outlets and they need creative outlets. Yeah. And you know, I think a lot of times, and I'll say this not you, whether you want to agree with me or not, I think a lot of times we're so quick to label something as, oh, this kid has trouble because of this X, Y, Z, when really maybe they just need an outlet, a creative outlet. For me, I was always told that I talk too much. I don't think anybody watching is even going to question I don't that. believe that. <laughs> but did anybody ever say to me, why don't you take that and make that creative? Why don't you yeah. realize... Channel it. Channel it? No. Yeah, yeah. So I think that 
and and maybe I could have done play radio yeah. shows or play TV shows sure. or all sorts of other things yeah. to get my creative juices going. <laughs> Did anybody say be in theater class let's or being? Let's TV talk about class. let's yeah. talk about a little bit also just you know technically or, right. or scientifically if you will. Okay, they're finding that physical play not only does it help children build muscles and and and, and improve circulation and, and everything healthy. else, it also helps thinking, cognitive thinking. It even supports that general free time helps build brain cells, believe yeah. it or not. And that's gross motor skills, fine motor skills. Kids become, um, you know, manipulating small objects and small things. That improves their perception. That improves their inquisitiveness. That improves their um, the perseverance in trying to pull things together and all that. It's magic. It's just that alone. That alone is, is just, is, is just to give you an example technically of what it really can do. Aside from everything else you said, by the way, you're hired. You know? Thank you, you know, very much. <laughs> you know, socially, emotionally. You know, also what we're finding is that kids are experiencing more and more stress. Yes. Some of the reasons are exactly what I said about, you, you know, that there's a lot more pressure on them with exams and things like that. There's less time to play, if you will. And, and this stress is only damaging. So how do we it's change that? How do we, how, do we, how do we make the genius of play change that? And maybe the genius of play can also, you know, be part of educational playing and opening up their minds and getting them creative thinking as well. Is that, how do you envision it? What's, you, what's your vision? There's a, a couple of things. Yeah. First of all, um, kids need time to play, yes. period. I agree. They I, need I time to play by themselves, mm -hmm. time to play with their peers, with their, um, with, with their siblings, and with their parents. And that opens up a whole world of benefits for them. Uh, pretty much everything we just said. Right. That does by itself. Then there's actual things, there's toys. So I was an educational psychologist and I taught emotionally handicapped and learning disabled kids. I literally taught a 13 year old kid who couldn't even recognize the letter A. I taught this kid how to read wow. through toys. Wow. Through toys. You know how powerful that is? Yeah. You know, and, and people don't realize, here's the other thing, you know, video gaming is, is, is really good for kids too. There are some, uh, 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 there are some reasons why it's not great, yep. but there are really some uh, benefits to it too, especially as you uh, game uh, remotely with people yep. and, and you can communicate with them and you can team up with them, yep. but it's also great for creative thinking, for strategy. It's, it's also, people don't realize it's becoming careers. It, it gives career opportunities. It lets them think differently too with uh, graphics and and creativity yep. and all sorts of stuff and m money management yeah. now with these games because you have to manage, do I buy this uh, piece of the game? Sure. Do I do this? How do I make that money? How all sorts of great things. I, so I'm not saying that, you know, I thoroughly believe we should get the kids up and out. Let's yeah. throw a ball. Let's, let's do things physically. But I also think we can't, you know, a lot of parents want to say no video game. And, and no, I think that we no, need that's, to encourage that's not, that. That's, that. Number one, that's not realistic. Number two, you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because for everything you just said, because of the benefits. Also, an interesting trend that's happening, we're seeing the merging, or maybe I should call it a hybrid, of traditional toys and technologically advanced toys. For example, like Lego Fusion, yeah. where a, a child can build a, a figure, scan it, put it into the system and use it in play online. Unbelievable. You know, it's, it, it's, it's pretty, it's, that's only one small example. If you walk the show floor now, yeah. you'll see several examples. Well, like uh, that's that. unbelievable. And then I love that even the, you can build robotic stuff yes. in Legos, in other companies, and you can re remote control them. I love slot cars are coming back because yeah. I think that's a big part of uh, STEM. Because yes. the kids, I learned a lot from slot cars. Yes. I was big into slot cars and I was building my own cars. Yeah, yeah, no, that's beautiful. Also, it's now called STEAM. You know why? They've added the A. You know what the A is for? I is that? Uh, Arts. Arts, okay. They've I added, I they've it. yeah, now they call it, it's always been STEM, you know, right. you're right. But now it's, now they're calling it STEAM because of, you know, the arts as well. Because that, they're finding arts are very important in the whole makeup, the whole you know play makeup of, of a child. What is your favorite category of toys, uh, especially mm. for kids and for the genius of play? You know, I really think it's the manipulative. I, I think um, when I see, when I observe children playing, to see the magic that they create when they're taking things, molding things their own way, they're inventing their own shapes and forms and all. That to me is the most exciting.
because again, it st it it cr it offers you know it, it obviously stimulates the imagination, the creativity, but also it builds the cognitive ability of the children. It builds you know, again what I said earlier about perseverance. It um it, it just allows a child, you know, to really um, uh, think out of the box, even at whatever level, whatever age they are. So that's probably my most my favorite. But I pretty much like everything. I, I'm with you. I, I feel like a big kid being here. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. What was your first toy fair? This one. This is your first toy fair? That's unbelievable. I've been with the special, the, I've been with the Specialty Food Association before that. I ran the Fancy Food Show Okay. before that. And I've been in food marketing for 35 years. So this, is, this is new. What do you me. think of toy fair so far? Oh, it's good. I like it. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's exciting because of the, some of the things that I've been saying, the things I'm seeing. For me, how I it's supporting my effort too in term in the genius of play. Toys aren't sold here, but I literally feel like I'd like to walk around with my credit card out. Oh yeah. You know, it's it, yeah. it's it's really amazing. I mean, they are sold. They're sold to buyers yeah. to get into retailers. Yeah, but, but not they're not sold, sold to off like the floor. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it, it's really amazing. Uh, ben says in the chat room that he believes in recess so much that he thinks that us as adults are stressed out and overworked and overstressed, <laughs> and then You're adults right, need recess and, <laughs> and, and the genius of play. We definitely, we all play. Yeah. We all play, think about it. Also think about your toy, all of us have had a favorite toy as I'm a so child. I'm sorry, that was Jaybird, by the way. Oh, Jaybird. Sorry, Jay sorry about okay. that, but yes. But think about, everyone. Uh, every one of us had a favorite toy. Yeah, what was I yours? I saw as a t I Lincoln Logs. You love Lincoln Logs. Because again, I was able to build things and I created all kinds of scenarios and whatnot and all. It was cool, it yeah. was great, I love them. Yeah. I love them, you Le know? Yeah, And um, I couldn't build anything with Lincoln Logs. I <laughs> saw when I was a teacher <laughs> also how yeah. um, children were able to um, express aggression to work through things, through dolls, through d various toys, through games. Really? Um, really, very, very exciting stuff when you see this whole psychology behind play and really toys as tools of play. So it's okay to let children work out their aggression with toys? I mean, I, I see that, I, I see this now. Parents have a, a kid who takes a, uh, like a G.I. Joe uh, figure, and he's like, you know, banging into another one, yeah. and, and he uh, looks a little angry, right? Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay to let them Also, do if you that. see a child talking to their doll or, to or yeah. their, their G.I. Joe person or sure. their Ninja Turtle person. I still do this, by and the way. Yeah. <laughs> if you see them talking, sometimes they're talking through what happened last night at home, or what happened, they got into a fight at school. Or they, or they, you know, they had an argument, and or their mom yelled at them, or something. You know, you s you see all that working through. There's a there's a very incredible role that that play and toys play, uh, you know, happen with, with children. I, I I think you're 100 percent right, and I, I think it's really interesting to to talk about these different aspects, especially when you talk about how it can really affect a behavior and a mood, and it allows you to uh, you know get aggression out and. Uh, you know, we all have, right? Yeah. And we all get stressed, and it's good to be able to decompress. Yeah. Uh, I've wanted to lately, literally, but I don't have a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One or any kind of console gaming system. I've wanted to get one lately as a way to decompress. I, I, I play sports, I, ha I you know, with my son, I don't have, t I play hockey, that's my big thing. I don't have time to go play ice, you know, get, get ice time at 11 right, o'clock at right, night, right. come home at two in the right. morning, by the time I decompress, it's four. Right. I can't do that right now. Right. And, and, and so, you know, I'm looking for another outlet, uh, and I think that that might be it, but I think it's good all the way around. And I love some of these toys here, too, that are getting the kids up and getting them exercising and mm. stuff like that. I was just going to well. say, combine yeah. both. Yeah. And if you can't do, I play racquetball. Mm -hmm. Talk about slamming something against oh, the wall. Ball. Talk about, you know, release. I love Physical racquetball. Re yeah, I, I, I really love it there a lot. There isn't enough know? racquetball. There is, yeah, I know, I love it. Personally, I do. Yeah. such a great sport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where do you do? You live in the New York area. I live in Connecticut. Connecticut. So yeah. there's probably a little bit more racquetball in the, Connecticut. It, it's than a there's little more accessible yeah. or a little more affordable. It be, it be, it's hard to find these days. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great way to get a workout and yeah. get your aggression out. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really I neat. And combining that also with something like a PlayStation, sure. even video games or shared video games and all that, yeah, I think you get the best of both worlds. Yeah, really. I, I really think that you're a hundred percent correct. We should play racquetball sometime. Well, let's do it. I, I, but I'm going to warn you. Hey, I I'm going to be 65 years old, so you got to go easy. But I, I'll do it. <laughs> you know, all right, I'll all play, right. I'll play I was going to say, I, I talk a lot of smack. I'll back the smack <laughs> talk down. <laughs> right I, you, That's good. Do I have to go easy? I bet you're, you're better than me. I haven't played in years. I'm not there. Yeah. <laughs>
There is one other thing I want to bring up, yep. um, and you know, I've been um, with the um, with the TIA for literally six months. Okay. And I came here. I was pretty happy where I was, frankly, but I came here with a mission. I really think I can help, and the genius of play is one way. On the floor and in our membership, you have a whole fraternity of people that are dedicated to this whole concept of play and toys as instruments of play and really helping children, if you will, and concerned about children. Safety as well as all of these other things we've been talking about. Right. Very much so, but not many people know about it or people don't think about it. Well, we're going to help get the word out about a lot yeah. of this stuff because we're going to have more people on from the TIA to talk about these Good. different subjects, and Good. it's really important, <laughs> and safety is important too. Safety and I love how the TIA really works to come up with what age should be which toy, uh, oh, it should yeah. be what age appropriate, and to make sure that these toys are safe as well. So we're going to be talking about all that Excellent. stuff throughout. Excellent. I guess it's, it's, it's basically a week, uh, four days here. Yeah, few, yeah four days, yeah. yeah. Ken, thank you so much for coming on. It's Pleasure. great to meet you. Pleasure. You are awesome. Pleasure. It's the Genius of Play. Genius of Play. He's Ken. I'm Michael Arts. Also, go to oh. GeniusofPlay.org. Geniusofplay.org. That is the landing, because we did a test in Q4. Yep. They can see the landing page. They can see a video of children, and they'll see an infographic that talks about some of the benefits that I was alluding to. And I just want you to know, that video was not scripted. We okay. have little vignettes of children given toys and they went crazy. Well, and you know what's great because the hardest thing to, to get children to do on camera is, is do what you want and or respond to questions, especially if it's not scripted. And I know this from interviewing kids over the years. Yeah. Even you get a great kid, he's right over here. Yeah. Somebody says, you got to interview this kid. Amazing, going to be great on camera. You talk yeah. to the kid for a few seconds. They seem like they're going to be great or they come up. I've had kids, oh, I've got so much to tell you. You go, okay, great, so tell me about and I go, uh, it's nice. <laughs> it's yeah. good. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, right. yeah. But you got to watch so. this thing. Genius the of Play. The Genius the of, genius of play. Play. Dot org. The Genius of Play. Org. Correct. The Genius of Play. Org. Everybody go there now. I'm going to check it out. Not takes now. It takes but a couple I of minutes. Check it yeah. out. Yeah. Check it Have out. Have some fun with it. Yeah, yeah. Ken, thank you. I'm Michael My Arches. Pleasure. We'll be back with a whole lot more of your live, official, continuing. Toy Fair 2015 coverage here at the Jacob K. Javits Center in New York City on Beat Terrific. Don't forget, hit us up in the chat room, beatterrific.com slash live underneath the video player on Twitter and Instagram, at Beat Terrific TV. You can download our app, app.beatterrific.com. We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere.